Okay, let's do a, a quick uh, run through the controls uh, on the uh, filter and uh, the connections as well. The three connections on the top, I have audio in from the radio uh, and that comes in from the headphone socket. I have it here on my 7300, my ICOM 7300 and the I normally set the audio to the about midway there and uh, I have the power supply here power coming in 12 volts and there's a headphone socket here the headphone socket is always live uh, and the speaker here I can switch on and off the speaker uh, if I just want to listen to the headphones uh, the reason I have it switchable and not relying on the socket here is if uh, two people are listening one wants to listen on the headphones and the other wants to listen to the uh, speaker uh, they can uh, they can both listen or if just one person is listening they can switch off the speaker okay we'll continue with the controls the switch here is for switching on and off the uh, loudspeaker yeah i think i explained that before uh, the LED shows power on, and this is the fixed gain of the amplifier. I can select the gain and then lock it. I can uh, select the level I want of gain. Uh, this is, That's separate now from the volume control. It just sets the uh, gain of the uh, LM736 uh, chip. And down here is a, a three position rotary switch. It's in the off position at the moment. And if I turn to the center, it switches on the unit. 
but it bypasses the filter. The amplifier comes on, but the filter is bypassed. And then I have the third position here, which switches in the filter before the amplifier. So uh, I'm, uh, I have the narrow filter activated. And finally, we have the volume control. But I'll demonstrate that when I have some sample uh, videos of the filter in action shortly. Okay, 7.3 for now, and I'll come back with some uh, examples of the filter in operation. Thank you. 